All right, next up on the review docket, we have Drago Man from Masters of the Universe Classics and Mattel. Obviously, Mattel. we have um, a Mattel theme going on here today. Yeah, go figure. You know, um, just like the last figure we reviewed, it comes in a plain white box. Oh, and exhilarate. for some reason, it says Kex down here. If anyone knows why it says Kex down here, um, post a comment. Um, I'm not really sure why it says that, but Kex, uh, whatever. Kex. Um, well, I say we could just go ahead and open. Is that Klingon sex? Kex, maybe. Man, open that motherfucker up. Let's just get Let's to it. it. Don't don't fuck around. <laughs> Nobody wants to look at a white box. I mean, no, sure. really. Oh, bam! Look at that. I'm gonna take a sip of my fatty natty and um and we can get the look at fatty natty time. Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Boy. Look at this. God damn! You can't even see his fucking head because he's so goddamn. Dead. I know. <laughs> literally, his head, half of his head is covered up by the logo because he takes up literally takes up oh every God. single piece of real estate inside this package. Um, they could not have, they could not have fit another millimeter of figure inside this thing. God, look at that. That is unreal. Like, you can actually touch the figure. If you push... Look. The bubble is actually popped out partially. Yeah. It's, it's popped out from the figure pushing the bubble out. My God, that's a big figure. Yeah. That's a lot of toy. That's a big figure. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, this is Drago Man. Drago Man was designed uh, by the Four Horsemen for uh, the 30th anniversary line of Master Universe Classics. Basically, they... they contracted um, a bunch of different people in the uh, comic book and also the uh, the design world or industry or whatever. And they designed characters for um, the 30th anniversary line. And this God. is one of them. 30 years. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. It seems like just yesterday I got my mm -hmm. first E-Man mm -hmm. colored on him with a pencil. Yeah. Traced his muscles. They can mean he scraped all this paint off his head. And yeah. Then, God, know. he's all yeah. worn out. I still have, <laughs> I still have that He-Man. And he does you know. still have the pencil tracing all his muscles, and he looks cut. Well, Makes nice. it more cut. That's cool. how it is. Cool. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, it even says on here, created by the Four Horsemen. So that's pretty cool. You give him some props right there, right there on the front. Bam. Yeah, you gotta give him props. Yeah. Look. Oh my god. That thing yeah. Be, um, other than that, I mean, the package is basically simple. Other, the same type of packaging it has air holes on the side mm -hmm. so you can breathe. Um, it has a Master Universe Classics mm -hmm. on the top. Uh, Drago Man, of course, it says created by the Four Horsemen on the bottom there. On the back, it does say 30th anniversary. It has a picture of Drago Man and, and a bunch of other characters that we've seen already that's been released. And it has his bio where it talks about him being, um, um, well, uh, he's a dragon. Dragon, yeah. Holy so. shit! I would have never known. So I'll, I'll take dragon. a photo of the back and then post it on the end there so you can read it. Holy, that's a lot to read. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, really, there's not a whole lot to the box. No, he... God, that sword, too. Look at that. Holy... I oh, know. Oh, Alright, let's God. let's get this fucking let's thing open. Get, I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't hold oh, back Jesus. anymore. I can't talk about the package. It's the same fucking shit that we see all the time. Let's open this up. Grayskull box. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Alright. And we are back with Drago Man. Oh, my and, um, God. I, I think uh, Jeremy pooped us up a little bit I when, did. He, when we took this out. I sharded. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at him. It, it tends to happen when you see an awesome figure like this. He's huge. He's yes. Tall. He's wide. He's massive. And he's just freaking amazing. I mean, this guy's so badass. He has a picture of himself on his chest plate. He does. I mean, how freaking sweet is that? He is. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go oh. over him a little bit. Um, obviously, he has these massive wings, and they have a uh, really good articulation. They move they in and out. Move. Yeah. So you can actually you can bring them in so they're you know curled in like that, or you can have them completely stretched out like that um you can move them up around they do spin a good bit and they're removable obviously when in the package they they were not attached um he has his tail which is the same tail they use for whiplash this is also removable and it spins has a little bit of articulation you kind of move it around a little bit but you have to force it and it just kind of rolls back to where it was before uh, but it helps with um standing helm because you can actually use it as like a third leg almost yeah. you know so that um the weight doesn't weigh him down too much the tripod yeah, I mean, with this much weight and this much stuff, it, you kind of need that extra support, you know? Yeah, he's a thick, big dude. Yeah. He's got um, the, the nice classic kind of armor, too. It yes. It reminds me of, yes. like, the two-piece snap-on armor that the original guy Yeah, had. sort of like the like the um, the uh, battle oh, damage. Oh, like, yes, uh, yes. Like Skeletor yes. or He-Man or whatever, even though this doesn't have the, the rolling 
you know, chess piece or whatever. It is a, um, I mean, a lot of the characteristics of this figure, I mean, if you looked at this figure, you could tell that it's definitely from the Master Universe um, universe, even if you don't recognize the character. Which you shouldn't because it's the brain of the character. If you do, design. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you either own the figure or you're high as a motherfucker. Yeah. Um, of course, his head, you know, uh, standard Master Universe uh, articulation. He can look up and down, um, swivels around. His mouth does not move or open. I, I noticed a couple of people had that as a complaint. I'm not really too concerned about no, it. No, no. Um, I don't think it takes away from his appearance no, at all. No, they did a lot of detailing with the teeth and stuff in there, yeah. too. So. Um, his arms, of course, you know, standard you know, ball joint shoulders. Um, he has that um, articulation cut at the bicep, uh, right above the bicep. Um, elbows bend um, and wrist circle uh, circulates or or yeah, it turns, circulates. circulates. I don't know. Like blood. <laughs> yes. Uh, pretty much standard uh, Master of the Universe Classics arms. Um, there's not a really a whole lot of difference as far as articulation there goes. Um, he does have uh, um, waist spin and a little bit of stomach crunch. Yeah. So you can move him up and down a little bit. Even though his armor is thick, it doesn't interfere with his uh, his him going up and down. You know, doing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? And, of course, his legs, you can, he can do the split, he can do the Jean-Claude, um, it bends oh. at the knees, and his feet, of course, tilt up and down, and, and spin a good bit, and also, it spins at the, at the, um, at the calf. Yeah. So, um, most of the articulation he has is the same, the same stuff that you're used to seeing with most Master of the Universe mm-hmm. Classics figures. And, of course, since the Four Horsemen design all the Master of the Universe Classics figures, it makes sense that they're incorporating all, all the same articulation mm, uh, yes. in their own creation. Um, he has the classic belt, too, with the loincloth. He does, he does. But it hangs down a little bit lower than, like, He-Man and, wow. and everyone does, too. He's uh, huge. He has a little bit more to hide, I guess. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> and, of course, he comes with this really cool, like, lava oh, it's, sword. It's not even a flaming sword. It's more it's like just, just like a lava sword. You know, awesome. With a, with a blue handle. So. Awesome. I don't know, Jeremy, talk about the details in the, uh, the uh, color. And stuff. Well, I like the, the coloring, really. I like the metallic color that's yeah. blue that they used on the trim here. And then they, they outline it with this more of a dull purple finish. Mm-hmm. And it kind of makes it pop more. I, I, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It really is. And they also incorporate that into the, the belt and also a little bit in the boot. They just use a little bit of an accent for that. Yeah. Uh, they even have like a crackling effect going across the blue throughout. Yeah. And even on the wings, they, they have a crackling effect going mm-hmm. through the wings of kind of make it's it, like where it's like aged or yeah, or, yeah, it's or wear and tear. You know? It's wrinkles, you know. It's it's yeah. skin, and they, they they have a vibrant color to it, so they kind of pop when you see it against all these more um, cool tones that he has in his armor. Yeah. My God. Yeah, I love the orange of the inside of his yes. wing, and especially the way it contrasts with the uh, like the dark red of his body, mm-hmm. and then of course you know like the dark purple and and like the uh, the more reflected metallic like aqua color. I can see him flying, just coming in and like dropping a boot on He Man, and then, and then just decapitating whoosh, people. Fire! And he yeah. just blows fire, and then he whips out his huge slime. Yeah. He's like, look at this bitch. <laughs> and he made like, I can't compete with that. Yeah. And he pisses, and then, pisses and he, fire on him. Or then he grabs Tila. He, he grabs Tila and then like, forces her down on him. He's like, <laughs> yeah! Number one dragon, this motherfucker. He's like, look, I got myself in my chest. I'm the best. Yeah. That's how you know. This dude does not fuck around. My God, look at him. Yeah. If you oh. if you pass on this guy, that's one of the biggest mistakes you could have possibly made. Yeah. If this fig, I mean, I know it's not an original character um, from the original Master Universe. It, it should have been. It but this been dude is character. freaking sick. Yes, I know. He has three fingers, so he can still give you the middle finger, because he will rock your world. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Well, you won't be alive long enough to see see him pissing on your corpse. Look at that. Yeah, he's just looking down, and you're like, <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, yeah, the sword, of course, incorporates the same color as the armor. And it, uh, just the detailing and even the hilt of this yeah. is it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just want my sword to look like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, this guy was one of... Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Valtrex, yeah. Valtrex will prevent your sword from looking like that. Uh, but anyway... Um, this guy was one of the most um, heavily anticipated figures for me personally uh, to come out this year, and I'm so happy that he's come out finally, and uh, I've actually gotten him. Um, and 
Yeah. He was well worth the $22. Oh, I mean, yeah. this is a lot of figure. This is a lot of oh, yes. awesome stuff. You know, for for such a small amount of money compared to a lot of the other really ones. really not much. I mean, you can go to Toys R Us and buy a Tony Gwynn action figure and it costs about that price. Yeah. And it's just a chubby dude with a baseball bat. Yeah. I love baseball, but I'd rather have this than Tony Gwynn. <laughs> yeah, myself. exactly. Yeah. Yep. And, and he's a baseball Hall of Famer. So, yeah. What's he's that say about Drago Man? Career, what, like 340 batting average? Somewhere around there? That dude's beast. But this guy's even more beast. Yeah. Literally, he's a dragon. A fucking dragon. He has a 340 a fucking killing average. Dragon. 340 killing average. Yeah. yeah. This dude does not lose. This is win. Mm-hmm. Pure win. He pisses when, he spits when, he just... God. He even has a t-shirt to prove it. Yeah. So, Look, I mean, do you walk around with a, a picture of yourself on your shirt? No, because you're not fucking awesome like that. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. They don't, they don't make uh, shirts uh, with our pictures on no, them. Or yours. Fuck, or yeah. losers. What the, compared yeah. to this guy, we ain't shit. Yeah, exactly. So would be lucky to lick his dragon balls. Mm-hmm. Dra- <laughs> dragon balls. I made it. Z. Throw a little Z in there. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, man. All right, Let's, let's wrap this up. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I mean, this is definitely oh. Drago Man. If you if you missed out on him, then you're a dumbass. Oh, yeah. Um, you should definitely have bought this figure. Yes. And um, And other than that, I mean, he is freaking awesome. And um, he is one of my favorite Master of the Universe class yeah. figures that no. have come out so far. And I love him. Enough said. And this is probably one of the best figures him. I've seen. Yes. I'm going to hold him. He'll be sleeping on Jason's pillow tonight. He right will. next to him. Between me and my wife. <laughs> yeah, between me. Yeah. Like, honey, get me over. Honey, make I got Drago Man coming. <laughs> His wings are huge. Make room. Here, you yeah. lay on this little kitty pillow. Here, just go here. sleep on the couch. All right, all right. All right. Here's Man a blanket. Needs- go to the couch. You need your side of the bed. We're going to cuddle for a while. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. 